And now I have a second model, which I've already mentioned. I've got this Bulbasaur. Believe it or not, this is made of paper, like 3D printed paper, basically. Sheet laminate, um, sheet lamination. That's what it was called. Uh, so this is what I will now be scanning. And as you can see, it's a colored model. So in this case, I actually do want the texture. And I'm not going to make this uh, as extensive as the bunny rabbit since the rest of the uh, concepts are very, very similar. Instead, I will mostly do one or two scans of this model to show what it actually looks like. I will just overwrite uh, my test folder. Uh, or just create a new one right there. Yes. And this time around, I want a texture scan. Apply. One note, right here I had the align by features. That obviously only works if you're scanning a feature-rich object. If I was scanning my little black object from before, by the way, you can now see how it's nice and white, uh, I would choose um, orient by turntable because then while rotating, the turntable knows how much it has rotated and knows where to place the rest of the object. That's because this one has basically no distinguishable features. This model, on the other hand, does. So. Orienting by features here, the better choice. I'm going to keep that, and now we will just start the scanning process. What you'll be able to see is that at first, once again, the scanner does the structured light scanning with all the black and white lines, thereby triangulating the surface. However, after it has done that, it will now start colors. First red, then green, then blue, in order to try and uh, estimate the surface color the texture of my 3D model, thereby generating um, a colored 3D scan. Right. I'm going to let the uh, computer scan again, and we'll be right back. Right, as you could see, this took a little bit longer than the uh, regular non-textured scan. That's because after each time it does the surface measurement, it also has to look at the colors. However, you can see, and I hope this is visible via the TV in the background, that there is actual coloring now of the model. You can see this little uh, light greenish color for the body, and then you can have the dark green color for the bulb on the back. Now, there are still a number of holes in this model, obviously, most of all, below it. And I could fix this by scanning the model again and again in different orientations. And uh, the software would align all these scans to fit together and create one cohesive 3D model at the end. But as that's not substantially different from what we've already done uh, with the bunny rabbit, I will just skip that here for the time being. One last setting I wanted to mention is if you don't mind uh, the scan taking a particularly long time, but mainly want higher quality, there's an HDR setting as well that you could enable. It'll make the scan take longer, but it will yield higher quality results. Right. So that's basically the Shining 3D Einscan SE desktop scanner. What is it? It is an extremely lightweight, affordable, portable 3D scanner that most importantly is extremely easy to use. You don't need particular training on it. You don't really need any prior knowledge. There are on-screen instructions for the entire calibration. You can't really mess up putting it together because there's only one spot where everything can go. So it's very difficult to mess up using this 3D scanner. Now, if you're looking into quality control of manufactured parts using 3D scanners, you might want a metrology solution such as the UE7. But if all you're caring about is digitizing 3D models at a reasonable quality for a reasonable price, the SE might just be the best possible solution out there. 
it can not only scan fairly large models, it could also scan even larger models that you then scan in uh, multiple single steps, then piece together using the align mode. Uh, we're not going to be doing that now, but theoretically it's possible. It can also scan fairly small models, something many other scanners also have difficulties with. So this would also work. So all in all, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Goodbye.